how to create unlimited Gmail account without phone number verification. Hey there, we'll walk you through step-by-step -step on how to create your very own Gmail account without a phone number. Let's dive in. First things first, open up your favorite web browser and type in www.google.com slash Gmail. This will take you to the Gmail information page. Now, if you're creating an account for your child, there's a slightly different path to follow. In that case, head over to www.google.com, click on Sign In, then Create Account, and finally, For My Child. Fill in your child's details, and you'll be all set to manage their account's privacy settings and content filters. For the rest of us, look for the blue Create an Account button at the top right corner of the window or in the middle of the screen next to For Work. Give it a click, and you'll be whisked away to the Google Account Creation page. Now it's time to fill in some basic information. Start by entering your first and last name in the designated text boxes. If you're creating an account for a friend, go ahead and enter their details instead. Next up, choose a unique username for your Gmail address. This will be the name that appears before gmail.com. Feel free to get creative with letters, numbers, and periods. Just keep in mind that your username must be one of a kind. If someone else has already claimed it, you'll see a message that says, that username is taken, try another. Don't worry though. You can always try adding a period to separate names or tacking on a number at the end. Now, it's time to create a strong password to keep your account secure. Type your preferred password into the password text box and then confirm it by typing the same password into the confirm password box. If you want to double check what you've typed, just click the show password checkbox. Once you're happy with your username and password, click the blue next button at the bottom of the page. You'll now have the option to add account recovery options like a phone number or an alternate email address. While not mandatory, these can be real lifesavers if you ever have trouble accessing your account. Go to www.tempnumber.com, link provided in the description. Here we'll get a temporary phone number. Almost there. Fill in your date of birth, select your gender from the drop down menu, and click Next. If you provided a phone number earlier, you'll need to verify it now. Click Send to receive a verification code, enter it into the field, and click Verify. You might see a Get More from Your Number page, which allows you to receive video calls, messages, and personalize your Google experience. If you'd rather skip this step, just click Skip. Finally, scroll down and click I Agree to accept Google's privacy and terms. And there you have it. You're now signed into your brand new Google account. To start using Gmail and access your inbox, simply click on Gmail next to Images. Remember to log out if you're using a public computer.